you're trying to find what those are, give those the most attention. For me right now, that's YouTube, that's the prep coming up, which includes dieting and training and all that kind of stuff, and that's keeping my friend and my friend and family relationships. All right, guys, I'm watching, uh, I'm watching, catching up on YouTube videos, watching Russell. Funny because he's African too. And letting my video say, but yeah, man. So I'm watching this. I'm laying on the floor right now, so you can't see me. So uh, probably gonna nap it out. It's early. I'm gonna nap it out, and I'm gonna see y'all when I eat breakfast, which is at 12. It's weird. I'll explain it later. And hey guys, what's going on? I just woke up. Cause your boy was just, I don't know what it was. It's just tired, but I'm, I know I'm dehydrated too, because I have not drank the amount of water that I was supposed to. So I have to, I probably have to get through like three, four gallon before it's time for me to go live or else I'm gonna feel drowsy or whatever. But this video is now up. It's up now. Share it to Facebook. Open up a new. Watch. Please. Thanks. Bye. All right. So just posted that base Facebook. Just posted that video on Facebook, and yeah, man. So it's crazy because yeah, I didn't. I just started this YouTube not too long ago, maybe a year and a half. But you know, it's it's hard making the videos when it's like you thinking about man these people are getting things and people are watching them and oh they have this because this person saw it and this is it's very discouraging at times but the reason i like to do this is because i enjoy doing it and you know of course it would be nice to find somebody to sponsor or something like that but i really like doing this it's pretty cool like looking at my old videos and i'll just laugh at myself like wow marcus you were at the, you were this at one point but at the same time it's like you've grown so much the way you speak, the way you live, how much you know, and it's just it's just dope to see the progress that I'm making. And you know, even though that's not my goal, I know one day, one day somebody's gonna see me, or one day somebody's gonna be like, "Oh snap, Marcus, I see this, I see what you did, and I need this," or it would, you know, whatever the case may be. It's it's just gonna be a moment where it's just gonna change everything, the way I train or the way people look at me, and I'm gonna just. I just gotta I can't quit because you know what if I what if that point comes but I quit before it happens so that it just keeps me driving keeps the drive in my head going like okay Marcus if you keep going one day somebody's gonna notice or one day somebody's gonna look at you and be like oh snap look I need you you know what I'm saying and that just goes for everything anything I don't want to miss my chance for something that I really want so I'm just gonna keep going until I actually cannot or until I get tired because even when I'm tired, I like to do it anyway. Because I feel like it builds character. But don't don't miss your chance because you're getting tired and you're not seeing results. You're not seeing results because results because you keep you keep getting tired. You keep getting tired like out. You keep you keep getting physically tired. You know what I'm saying? And I've been physically tired before I got mentally tired. You know, and that happens with everybody. So if you keep your body strong. This, this up here will have to come last, you know what I'm saying? Because you work this out during the workout too, but if you keep your body strong, your mind will stay strong too, guys. So just keep on, just keep just keep on keeping on, man. Keep on keeping on, because you don't even know. You don't even know that chance could be today. It could be tomorrow, but if you don't give yourself that time, if you don't put that effort in every day, like today could be your day, you're going to miss it. And I ain't trying to miss that joint, man. Please don't miss it. Cause I ain't got, don't do it. Please don't do it. No, but seriously guys, keep going. Do it, do it every day. Like it's your chance. Like today could be your chance. So that's the mindset I'm thinking with. So I'm gonna get some, some oatmeal. You know, I like the oatmeal, oatmeal cereal, chocolate chips. And I ain't gonna lie to you guys. This gas right now is really lit right now. So you know what I'm about to do. So I'll catch y'all. All right guys, so I'm in the gym. I'm on this bike pedaling, warming up, and you already know the deal. I got my kettlebell swings, I got my stretching, and we 
got sets of five with, uh, I believe it's 465. So these should be a little harder because the way 450 moves, it was kind of fast. So I'm hoping to get a five by five. No, I will get a five by five done. I'm not going to say I hope. Uh, just the visualization technique. I don't, I try to, like I said this a while ago, but I always try to envision myself there already. I already did it. I, I see myself there. So for me to get to where I want to be, I see myself completing this. And this goes for anything. So as long as, no matter what you're going through, or no matter how difficult the task may be, you have to see yourself where you want to be despite of all the crap that's happening. So sometimes I don't even know how, but something ends up happening and I don't complain. I'm, I'm just happy, I'm thankful, and I, I keep it moving. So I'll catch y'all in a bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna record all these sets. So why am I doing this? I don't have no mustache. Ain't got no facial hair, but I do got a little bit coming in. I will zoom in, but the way my camera is not set up, I can't do that. So I'll see y'all in a bit. All right guys, so I'm warming up. And you know, I squat low bar, so the actual like skin on my back, I don't know, it's from 495 the other day. I hit that, it's on my uh, YouTube channel. But I hit, like I don't know if it was like super duper, I mean of course it was heavy. I didn't feel it so after, but like the skin, like it's real sensitive. But uh, I ain't gonna use that as an excuse, I'm gonna keep going. You see I'm still going, so I'm gonna keep going. And I'll catch y'all after I, you know what I'm saying? Man, I don't know what it is, but this the, the thing on prongs, man, they like, it's like I gotta squat down to like take it out the rack. And then like when I'm taking it out, I have to stand up real slow so it doesn't hit. And it's just like messing me up. I don't wanna have it too high. Cause then I gotta, it's weird, I gotta get up on my tippy toes. Like take it off, I don't know, man. This one is weird. And I'm not trying to have somebody like walk me in every single time. But I don't know. I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do one more warm-up and then we're gonna get this joint popping. So and I think I'm gonna put this hoodie on because it is now that I took this joint off, it's pretty chilly in here. And I don't understand what you be talking about, Bruce. So I'm kinda swole though. Hold up. Alright. <laughs> For the uh, for the last set, but we still ain't getting rough. But I got it though. I just got two more. I think I can't count, but I got it. So let's keep it. Going. <laughs>
know exactly how many sets I did on the squats, but I was switching between high bar two. and low bar. I did two sets, but I have four clips. All right. <laughs> All right. That's Eddie. That poor, trick, trick apparently, I only did trick two sets, according to this guy. The gym beast, don't even call him the gym beast. This guy. Hey, Y'all pay rent to me. I'm the gym beast. So I, I got, I got stiff legs now, and oh, my hips are hurting right now. Like my hip is getting angry. That's what they call it. So I don't know. I'm gonna see how I feel, and if not, just end up doing uh. Lying hamstring curls or seated hamstring curls. So, hope y'all can hear me. Can y'all hear me? All right. So, yeah. All right. So I just did uh, stiff legs, but this time, as you can see, I did it from a deficit and. Since I'm introducing, I'm just now introducing the movement to like, this is probably my second time doing it, but since I'm just now introducing it, I don't want to like fry my back or go too hard. I'm just, next time I do it, I'll just probably add another set, use the same weight, and we're going we gonna to periodize like that. So now we're going to leg press, and then we're going to go to leg press. And I'm going to use the same leg press that I've been using because I kind of like that versus pressing weight because I feel like the other one feels more natural and then we gonna go hit these hamstrings and all that good stuff so all right guys so I changed my mind I'm gonna use this leg press instead but I got my feet like really narrow they're almost touching and I really feel it in my quads and since I like it I'm gonna stick here uh, I'm gonna go up within weight probably hit like four five sets to eight to ten and I'm gonna superset it with reverse lunges. I don't know if I'm gonna use body weight or what, but we're gonna superset this and then we're gonna keep it moving. Let's get it, young man. Let's get it. Did supersetted the leg press. Only did I think I did four sets, four sets of ten, and then I did reverse lunges, twelve steps. Now I'm about to do lying hamstring curls, four sets of twelve. Basically, I started at like 170, and I just moved the pin up every time, and I did a set till failure. But the goal was 20, so if I made it to 20, I just stop. Um, I'm gonna do box jumps, but I wanna get some type of back movement, because I told, Chase was telling me, shot out to Chase, but uh, he told me that it's all in the lats. So if it's all in the lats, I gotta hit that jump, so. Uh, this one right here, so 
We're gonna do some lap pull downs, do these box jumps, and then we're gonna call it. You got this kettlebell. And lately, I'll do this after my leg workouts to try to help uh, speed up the recovery a little bit. I mean, I, of course, I do my raw mod and whatnot, but uh, I feel like this helps just a little bit. It doesn't seem like much, but I don't think I'm gonna do cardio today. I think I'm gonna save it for tomorrow because my legs are kind of done right now. I kind of don't use them anymore. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do this. Now, I'm gonna see if I can get ready to do my hands on my hand and my hands. So I'm going to do this for a little bit and I'm going to head on and see what I can cook up. Mabel. Mabel. Oh. I'm here. I'm here. So I'm back at the crib, the crib, I'm back. And so I have some uh, leftovers of what I ate the other night. So I'm just gonna warm that up and I'm gonna eat that. But yeah guys, today, it ain't look like it. I wish y'all could have seen. I was like, I kept the hoodie on during the workout, but that five by five really kicked my behind. So what I'm gonna attempt to do is every time I on my programming it says that i have a uh, sets of five i'm going to try to do five by five with it and hopefully eventually i build up the uh the strength endurance strength whatever you want to call it to do a five by five with 495 so that and i'm gonna try to start doing those stiff legs more from a deficit really put the emphasis on my hamstrings and yeah i'm gonna try to keep the box jumps in there too because I just want to stay mobile, you know, a lot of power lifters, a lot of people who lift, period, just get large and they start losing the flexibility and whatnot. And I don't want that to be me. I don't care how strong I get. So I'm going to keep running, keep box jumps, keep doing ROM wide, things like that. But yeah, guys, that was the workout for today. It was lit. It was real. But I'm going to end it right here, guys. Remember what I said earlier. Don't miss your chance. I don't care how tired. Don't miss your chance and comment and like and subscribe and give me likes and stuff and tell your grandma because grandmas love me <laughs>